Hello, this is Channel Easy Self Host. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage and proxy to the services you run on your home server using Nginx Proxy Manager, and also how to enable HTTPS on all your services like Pi-hole admin page. We all know HTTPS is crucial for cybersecurity on the internet. But I want to emphasize, HTTPS is important for your self-help services running on your home server as well. You see, with unencrypted HTTP requests, your private information can be leaked by compromised devices running your home network. And also, can we all agree that the browser address bar is annoying when you don't turn HTTPS on? Before we get started, I want to mention that we need a real domain for HTTPS setup. You can get one from a lot of websites for a low price. Okay, let's get started. We're going to use Docker Compose like before. First, let's connect to our home server and start a Docker Compose file. This is the Compose file we are going to use. The image is from the official source. And we need to declare a Docker network that will be created later in the command line to connect our proxy server to the services in other compose file. Don't forget to add the proxy network to the proxy itself. Let's also store the files on the server file system by creating a volume and publish the three ports. As you know, 80 and 443 is for HTTP and HTTPS, and 81 here is for the admin page. The PyHole admin page we set up in my last video is going to be the first customer to our proxy server. So we're going to declare the proxy network in its compose file and add it to the PyHole service. And let's remove the published port for admin page since we're going to proxy to it. With all the files ready, let's go to the command line and start by creating the proxy network we declare in the compose files. Then let's go to the proxy compose file path and start it. We also need to restart the DNS compose since we changed its ports. Now we can go to the proxy manager page with our home server IP and port 81. Enter the default email address and password and set up your own credentials. Let's test our proxy server by creating a proxy rule using the home server IP as the domain and proxy to the Pyho admin page. You can use Pyho as its host name because that's the service name we define in the Docker Compose file. Let's go ahead and test this domain. And that's exactly what we want. Then let's enable HTTPS by getting a certificate. We can either get a certificate elsewhere for our domain and import it to the Nginx proxy manager or use the Let's Encrypt plugin to get a certificate automatically. I recommend this way since it can handle renewal automatically. Let's create a wildcard domain like this since it's more convenient. Choose Use a DNS challenge since our home server is not reachable on the internet. Find your domain DNS provider, for example, Cloudflare, and get the required token following the instruction from your provider's website. And then you can proceed to get your certificate. If your provider is not supported, we can manually get a Let's Encrypt certificate on your computer using a tool called CertBot. You have to install this command line tool yourself. Make sure to specify DNS challenge and the wildcard certificate you want to get. You will be asked to put a text record to your DNS setting. Go to your DNS provider site and create that record. And then go back to the command line and hit enter to continue. You will get the certificates at the path you specified. And now you can go back to the Nginx proxy manager and import these certificates. Go to the proxy rule setting and change the domain name to a domain that complies with our wildcard certificate. Turn on the SSL setting using our certificate. You can do the same for the Nginx proxy manager page as well. Now HTTPS is enabled for these two sites. Before testing our sites, let's make sure the domain is pointed to our home server IP. You can either create a public DNS record on your DNS provider site, or you can create a local DNS record in Pyho if you have a Pyho setup. Now we can test our websites in HTTPS. After HTTPS is set up for Nginx Proxy Manager, we can remove the port 81, since now we are proxy to the Nginx Proxy Manager page. That's been how to manage and enable HTTPS for our home run services. You can also find a text version of this tutorial on our website, easyselfhost.com, and the Docker Compose file is on GitHub. Links are in the description below. Thank you for watching.